Mina Ibrahim Suri, Mina Chairman of the Transitional Interim Independent Elections Management Committee of the All People's Congress, where the court appoints for make a. And I want to welcome to Inside Sa um, to Salon TV Live, the home of credible news in collaboration with WIAD. Today, on Saturday, the 7th of January, 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Sierraleans, as we begin a join we in the platform, Salon TV Live, and we are where they broadcast the two different Facebook pages, including other one them as well as YouTube page them. We now begin share the program because today we get an exclusive for now, an exclusive interview from a group of young people who they aspire for being members and executive members them. Now the sixth region of the APC, the APC diaspora region. So I believe say plenty of now we don't see the flag them all about the social media and one year here from them find young people there where we get. So do you have now begin share the program immediately? I go post and also introduce one of the key hosts, the man himself, Brother Shenge Pierre. We are Brother Shenge Pierre, over to you. We had done come back today for can't talk about things where they happen. Now we on sweet ya hats alone. Now now we yon. Whoa. Let we let for do them bad things them. We the feel a more alone. Now now we yon. Whoa. We had in collaboration with Salon TV One. My name is Nassembe Pierre, the Freedom Fighter. Well, today we don't come back. Yesterday we've been there and we talk about different things than where they happen. We triggers the APC, the um, lower level convention, okay? So the one we've been there in charge of this, or we're there in charge of, they're actually taking time for explain what we did. But sometimes then they, something then they, where we not can understand. And we try to get some kind of answer, and we I feel say, but if you know, if you miss that program, then you go back, and then you go able for Yeri waiting, 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 and waiting. Ibrahim sorry, when are the chairman for the one them where they organize the election waiting he get for say. Well, not of it all no more or salon no more the Agbade. <laughs> it all aside there. And uh, if you see the screen right now. This is the young face them. We say they want for team up one for all the flag. For all the the the, the party na the diaspora. In other words, the one the way they oversee they say no left behind at all. <laughs> well, what it make they all want to get different different position. They can always talk say if they the sober one then left the position because they say they vex, well the alaki one then and then go take over. <laughs> So now the the one that self is sober don't decide for put and coat and tie and say nothing. We know they left and get any kind of consult on business like again. So we get different young people and we don't join me inside the program today. But still, still I will send them back over to Superman for they introduce the guest them inside the program this evening. And I want for um, make this very clear. I get one candidate. And they want the hour there, so we there. So, interestingly, we don't ever talk, and at the first time, this for I even see the candidate, but at the woman, the reason being, I uh, just like for support woman. So, and uh, if me being get for votes, you don't get one vote, but unfortunately, you don't lost one vote because another vote. <laughs> <laughs> All right, super made over to you. Yes, thank you very much. I'm um, brother Shengbe Pierre, brother Shengbe Pierre from Weyard. And again, ladies and gentlemen, as we join the program, and allow share far and wide. I believe say plenty, plenty people are the diaspora who work out here from the who find young people they are so get not the platform today. Inside the platform today, we get the man himself, what they call Poloko Bobo, in the aspire for become the young congress leader and the APC sixth region, the APC diaspora region. We also get Mr. Muhammad Kamara himself, they call him Igalo, Comrade Igalo, himself the aspire for the sixth region of the APC diaspora region for the secretary. It's a one be the secretary and the sixth region for the APC. Then we get Madam Patricia Sisse. Madam Patricia Sisse also the aspire and the sixth region of the APC for the deputy secretary. So ladies and gentlemen, and the guests that they were will get on the platform, we are believe say most of them don't see them flyer them and they name them all about national social media. 
when Allah will do the needful and continue for share the program. I'm going to ask me guests them one after the other for me and say, I do to Fambu them. But they say, like you say, ladies first. So let me begin with Madam Patricia. Madam Patricia, I for say, I do to Fambu them, please. Fambu them, Una Aduo, and Super Med, thank you very much. And I'm saying it here, thank you very much. And to my comrades, and Una Sef, Una Aduo. <laughs> Thank you very much, Madam Patricia. I don't know if the other device they were on because they get echo from your side, but hopefully you can meet some other device. Today. Well, I'll go directly now to Mr. Poloko Bobo himself. Mr. Poloko Bobo, now for say, I do to them, please. Thank you. Thank you, Salon TV. Thank you, We Had, for the extensive years of service when I don't give to every Sierra Leoneans. Fumble them, comrades in the APC UK Young Congress. Comrades in the APC UK and Ireland branch, comrades in the APC party, fellow Sierra Leoneans, I they send warm greetings to you all, and I they wish you all a prosperous New Year's. Me, na comrade Mustafa, as the Conte, but popularly known as Podloko Bobo, in a, in a do. Thank you very much, Mr. Podloko Bobo. And again, the same thing goes to Mr. Comrade Igalo. Comrade Igalo, I for say, I do. So Famule, please. Thank, thank you very much. Come with Supermed. Thank you, and Sembe Pierre. Come with of the Rising Sun, fellow Sierra Leoneans, young people. At we salute for now all. Thank you very much, Comrade with Igalo. And again, ladies and gentlemen, we now begin share the program far and wide because I believe say plenty, plenty people them go want um. Watch this program. One year, give from them fine young people that will get on the platform today. And also, this particular program, they can't tone her with from courtesy of Salon TV Live One. And we had, and we had. So, na, this particular program, when they send up multiple platform them now, because of what they get, so many people, many give from them people there, because again, we believe say the young people, them, they're also very critical in terms of political happenings that we continue. So before I go any further again, I go throw over again to Shengbe Pierre. Shengbe Pierre, maybe you go take over and um, begin the program officially today. Over to you. Normally we can see them get team them na different uh, um, election. You know where they can say we belongs to this team, we belongs to the dream team, we belongs to the winning team. Um, I hope this not a one team as it always so. <laughs> Because uh, for what what? I see, I see leader, I see secretary, I see deputy secretary. Uh, in one team, that dream team or a winning team? Well, this is this not this na a combination and a mixture of a vision team for the party. Oh, this is a vision team. We really represent a vision <laughs> team for the All People's Congress. What is that vision? Vision 2020, 2023, ABC Back to Power. <laughs> How that's possible? Well, um, now the, the, the structures are now put in place now, so because you know, say as a party, we get a responsibility for get we leadership from top level taken to the bottom. When once we're done with this level, we next level, no, say now for go now for national, we're now for win the presidency. So the possibility always starts from this point. Now, the primary is the pass now. I deliberately you know, give for us, waiting on our aspiration. Rather, I want for taken from this angle because the people them, not them, I feel say anybody for very careful about. I mean, when I for very much concerned about the people, especially when it comes to you know the young issues them, you know issues that we get for those national interest. You know, but when I will, when I really with this on a visual, but when I really know say somebody else then are the power one that they talk about so. Of course, we conscious in a way I say, we get a very few political establishments headed by His Excellency President Madabio. And that is more so the reason why we already did the short line jogging as an alternative government for do the needful come elections this year. So where are we are? I hear you to talk about failed. Why why you say it failed? What it make you feel say now you failed government this now? The issues are very clear. Okay. And um, we all know the challenges that we the country they go through. 
we all know how the standard of living them depreciates I'll put on to you considerably say you know, in the country. Maybe me no know. If, if me they enjoy, why you say we all know? Well, um, you know me say because you they enjoy, meaning you know they feel the heat, you know of they course, feel the sufferness from the enjoy, people. I'm blind to the issues. Yeah, you can blind to the issues. Maybe it's until you get a political lens where you view them. But I want for belief, say, in general perspective, we all know the constraints and the challenges that we continue to go through. And then that no, in any shape or form, make we believe, say, we are the best for coming eradicate all those challenges most immediately. But I'm very confident and pretty sure, say, given the history and the background of we own political party, that is the All People's Congress, we always get the political trajectory for reform the nation. In terms of several areas that we will make, you know, connections they take place, people they feel lively, people they feel at home. You know, say in the, a country like Sierra Leone, the issues are perennial issues. These are issues government to government, some of them, you know, they don't stock along the line. But um, with efforts, with commitment, the zeal, the passion from the leadership taken on, at least you're able to see a lot of energy where there is hope. And you if know, that hope you, you don't you know, be always you don't ask una young people, yeah? Very young people, very energetic, you know, where they can say very strong, eh, 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 you know, dynamic people. Eh? When I, when I get different things they want to for 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 making the country go before. And uh, but you did talk about, you know, pull for pull the, the failed government and bring somebody else. I mean a you know, young party where eh, you say una they put structure. You know, say right right now, when it comes to the lower level election. Problem still there within the party. Right now, we get petitions that way to line the PPRC. Of course. So right how serious day, you, know, you feel, say, on a party, the party where you want for represent, or where you represent, so how serious you feel, say, you ready for make sure, say, the failed government. You know, these are two things, seriousness and failed. You know, how do we get for March or two? Because we, the people, we actually need somebody where they take over, where we go say, Alhamdulillah, and not to Subhanallah. Yeah. Well, um, like I say, in a situation like this, when we practice internal democracy, don't forget so for far too long, the old constitution way we party be done, they work on, it be done, they do with, deal with the selection clause. And as a result of it, then challenges there and where they happen in the democratic process within the party. These are things in the past decade we not be envisaged in the sense we be get strong leadership at that time. So we'll be able to mitigate a lot of those things. Don't forget, these things, they happen now because of within our position. The same can happen with the SAPP government if they come out in power today. Because now you they feel like say, they are comfortable, they are okay, but internally they say, they get their young anglings. But these things will not spill over until they come on our government, then you could see the challenges and where they come. But like we, you we mentioned not, about internal, the lower... Not, internal fet, fet, yeah, but how do you feel as young people, especially you? Um, to be honest with you, the experience, the exposure, we believe say democracy, more especially in the APC, we don't say we don't practice internal democracy. These are things, except if somebody want for lie and you want for be dishonest. But these are things we inevitable, a ban for happen. All right. The only thing yeah. where we expect from from the higher echelon, stakeholders and grassroots, now for ensure say we all put with daggers then down and allow the process for go through to the way that we go minimize the tensions because the way how things they happen right now the petitions here and there a ban for happen everybody want feel belong everybody want feel part of the process and at the same time we get for allow then things they have for flow so that we go able to learn and experience what it mean by internal democracy so going forward it will help a lot for long we will mitigate some of those challenges then Patricia. So of moment, these are things as of moment, these are things that are inevitable. Okay. So we welcome them and we expect they will address them as early as possible. Patricia, you say Phil say the government will be get now don't feel. With regards to failure, um, I think me go speak more towards what he may feel say we coming into power, what he we capable for do as a party. And um, with everything else, we um, come with Igalo don't say, 
kind of like just for butter and start and say, we know the work we will do, we know the plans and where we get for saloon in general from the ga um, grassroots up. And at that, we they speak to um, specifically for say, yes, we don't see things when they go right, things will feel say can go better. And we know say, when we come into power, we are willing for do the work that needs to be done for forget we people there. So, nah, so you not agree say this government don't fail, right? I they say me they speak more towards knowing what we capable for do as a party. And we don't see some of the lapses and stuff. And we they come in for can kind of fix some of those loose ends and give salon mandem. What we feel say we all truly and deserve. You know, some of them things that we did talk for, you know, new to you. I can remember 2017 to 2018 presidential debate. Um, we president, we, we, Naya, they call caretaker. You know, some of the things that we've been talk, it makes sure say, it speak to we mind. It makes sure say, it find out what's in our problem. And then it tell we, say, na then thing and they want for cancer too. It go to the extent and tell we say within six months then go able for don't settle waiting and call bread and butter. The finance minister by then, when now now the chief minister, they actually been so close on landing. And the reason being because they be no say we very much concerned about two things as Sierra Leoneans. One, employment, job creation. Two, the bread and butter. You know, so they use that one day against me. Now, like for example, sorry, I, I, I use myself, I not use you. I get to my wife, I know in weakness. Hmm? So, in as much as I know they do well, but when I know say this is in weakness, I just use them against them. The minute where in art school and do something, I go back to my nonsense. That exact thing I waiting, I find out say this government do. So, waiting will be different from waiting you they can't tell me so now. Me, I go say, in that same example where you, you, you say you get your wife, you know in weakness. You can use that weakness there to your advantage. Oh, and that's that exactly what you do. He use that to in your advantage and sees advantage for mm -hmm. we right now as you say mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But what you we want come for can do is knowing say, yes, my wife gets this uh, a weakness, but we know say if we're able to work on that weakness day together, now to the benefit of the home. So we want to come in with that common interest for say. We all must salo man them. We all want to work together. We know say not a one man work. We know say not a personal interest, not a common goal. And we want to work together for no say if we able for work on that weakness, now the family, now in don't benefits. Not a one man don't try you. It don't really try. You know woman. It don't put bokulo cool them for woman them. And now as we did talk so, they want to introduce what they call PR system. So make sure say woman they get 30%. Eh? Well, they don't really already introduce and for make a woman and get 30 percent for get different system. What do you think of this? They don't try it. Right? I've been there alone because I go alone about um for about three months for go do my placement in um um for my master's in social work. I just returned recently where some of them things are so been they go on. And me all all what I can say is for make law now one thing, but for implementer now a whole different thing. So, yes, for say, yes, I'm going to do this, yes, stand in a one thing. But we'll all watch and see how that they play out and if it's something that's actually going to be implemented or if we just want to talk no more because, we, again, you see the wealth in weakness and you want user to your advantage. So, if I can get this right, and I ask you one, two time, or if not three times, say, Madam, you don't fail. And then you deliberately tell me, say, you want for can, you know, see how best on a cable for work on some of the lapses then. Well, somebody just tell me, say, Patricia, if you want to become a politician, you don't need for afraid for tell me, say, this man don't fail or you don't, don't succeed. I'm not afraid for tell me, say, this man don't fail or you don't succeed. But we are the young people and where they come up. And we don't see how politics, they, they work out in a salon. We that they punch, that they punch, that they punch, that they punch. I think we they come up with kind of like a system of wanting for yes, no, we all strength them, and we see like the lapses there on the other side where we need for work on, and and we come in with a focus on we strength. Patricia, you don't steal the show already. 
from waiting <laughs> at the scene at the comment section. But now you're <laughs> waiting comments to talk about you. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Patricia, you na SLPP input inside APC because you are not answering the question. And not actually end I say it just say you are not answer. So I make a lay lay look. <laughs> and uh, this other person say, don't um, say that you don't know what um, she is capable. Okay. And the last just see one. Um, don't say, okay, I think you know it. So, uh, yeah. Patricia, you want to be a politician, not afraid for attack bill. Well, I don't know. I then um, think they catch my attention. Quick, quick one. Me, I want to help a bold and thank you for the comments there. And I want to make Fabu and I say, me na Sierra Leonean born, mm -hmm. me na FPC born, mm -hmm. a born a Makeni. Mm -hmm. My grandparents contribute a lot to APC, mm -hmm. and me na serious, serious, serious APC and woman, okay. and I not go ever afraid for say that. But lock up, Bobo. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Kusha bu. Kusha. All right. So. What do you think, first of all, the people, the government in 2022? What do you think about what happened in the country? The people, the government in 2022? I think in governance, in administration, it's all about continuity. Um, obviously, we lost the 2018 election. The SLPP came into administration with lots of promises there. They promised the Sierra Leoneans say they will cast solve lots of issues their way, but they go on during the APC administration. And these were genuine difficulties that would have happened during the APC time. We began the mod, we began the mod slides, we began the Ebola, yes, the economic crisis during that time, but I'm um, former president, um, and as by Koma, be managed for fix some of those issues. We focus on issues in terms of con um, construction, infrastructures, yes, the education system, the health system as well. So obviously, with SLPP coming into governance, I believe they will not continue the process. But what they focused on at the time was to target the opposition. There was no peace, no national cohesion. Obviously, the bureau governments come in and portray say they will come for Katsukai for fix things there. The government be always so, done. They make both say Salona been the third um, most peaceful country, you know, when it comes to Africa, you know, until August 10. So how you say? I yes. Now. Um, I, I, I followed that recently in the ECOWAS um, parliament where they began a discussion there. Mm. Again, these are false and untrue statements by President Bio and government. President Bio Bembe no say there is no national cohesion, there is no peace in Sierra Leone. After thousands of Sierra Leoneans, they don't lost their life through uh, um, physical attack, through military attack, through intimidation. He knows there is no, there is no peace, there is no national cohesion. We they talk about the Padeba Road massacre. We they talk about the killings in, in Lonsar. We they talk about the killing in uh, Makeni, the Lunge, and so many places there where they don't destroy thousands of lives there. Yes, and I think say presidents beyond the country for frame things because he want he want for go second time. But we as young people we're ready for champion the issues there. We're ready for going to governance and let us support the APC party because it's a better alternative past president to your government. So I want to allow Superman for Kainsai, but this one question now we use for Mekuna all answer because this is very key. You know, people actually thirsty right now and they want change. Like in 2018, President Bio, tell we say the people are tired of suffering. The people are tired of paying for a bag of rice from only 60 to 200,000. The people want democratic change, a change to change their future. But again, he turned around again, he asked a serious question. He said, what type of change do we want? But unfortunately, we're not being catch up with Dandy. And then we don't answer. Or we don't even try for, for lead them uh, or let him understand what certain change we want. So now let's ask Una this question. Una thinks say APC, I don't go say Una individually, but Una thinks say APC could help for change the scenario where we get right now inside the country. Two things people very much concerned about. The economy and this national cohesion we talk about so one world peace and collapse that way we all we able for live back like one family that's very much concern you think say apc get a solution to that don't be honest at once thank you thank you mr P um, Pierre. i think we've learned 
APC has always been a very peaceful party, but we don't learn the, the atrocity, the, the difficult time we don't go through during this president bill and government. Um, again, we know they come for car revenge. We know they come for car attack individuals there. We believe in sust sustainability of peace and national cohesion, like I said earlier. So when APC come in governance, the first thing we will try to do, yes, is to try to fix the country in terms of the cohesion what we need. It no matter who say come more, if not the south or the northwest, we are all ones, we're all Sierra Leoneans. But what the pres president be able to do in administration, they don't try to divide the country between the south and the north. You know, they don't try to enter people there for sure say, yes, these are the power part, um, administration, and this is APC, they don't need na Sierra Leone. And we are all Sierra Leoneans. Once we don't try to stabilize that peace and national cohesion, we can't have to fix the economy. Again, we get competent people there. We get, we get people there where they go, we can't deliver in terms of the finance. We get, we get people there where they don't learn that they, they're part of the world there, where they go able to go and for go support um, the party, for all put the economy together. Um, it just was sacked a minister of finance recently. Yes, this is uh, just an example for sure for say, this government don't fail. Yes, within six months of election, yes, it was sacking in, in finance minister. Rice don't go up. Petrol, the prices that they go up every single day. There's no, there's no alternative. The only alternative is the APC government. And me, they assure, me, they assure, fellow Sierra Leoneans say the young people there will go there at the center of this for make sure say oh they take over governance. There will be peace and national cohesion. And no matter what the SLPP don't do, yes, but we go try for sustainable peace there in terms of going forward. Okay, thank you. I think Bora Shembepe will not lose you, eh? Hello, Bora Shembepe. I think we will not lose you, of you. Oh, very sorry. Go ahead. Very sorry. Egalo. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, first and foremost, I uh, want for clearly state uh, the era of the circle of political vengeance, it will be the theme of the past. In Sierra Leone. I believe, say, President Bio consciously aware of what he did do because me and see and say it's not a tough leader, but it's a very weak leader. Any leader where they lead a nation, it puts regionalism, it puts issue of tribe at the center of the administration, it fail beforehand. I make in five years not even done. We don't see the wrongs, or we don't see the difficulties where the country they thrive on. There is no country in the world where they thrive where there is no peace and stability. We don't say the change where we this yearn for and where we they ask for. It has to do with the political leadership. Sierra Leone is a very interesting country when it comes to issue of structures within government. We get the civil service, servants them. We get the politicians the way that they come. We get the judiciary and the rest of it all. And we all see how President Bio and his failed administration, they manipulate the institutions where for be responsible for being independent. But now, they don't pollute to some point. Respects not even they, not those institutions. That is more so the reason why even with internal infighting where they happen, if somebody read along the line for capture the details, you go no say those state institutions, they strongly they behind the infighting where they perpetrate within the APC. That in itself, not a good democracy. Because when President Bio made a fight for an SPP leadership, there were a lot of challenges. They drive people in at them party. They use the baboon cane politics. They flag a lot of senior people inside SPP. Then drive the young killer and others. Today, if you ask a question, who side is Sumanuka Pen and others? The people who suffered for SPP. But they are not there. These are Northerners. Where is the political cohesion with President Biobi the preach? So to me, I feel say in the APC, we get to own challenges. Then they nobody no go able to deny those facts. But I want to believe, say, APC is one of the most tolerant political parties 
when it comes to issue of administrative leadership in that country, if you follow the history of Shaka Stevens, where it comes to even Momo, where people let me feel say it was part of the problem will lead to the rebel war. But they will tell you, say, you know, he be a very peaceful man. We even bring the issue of a 1991 constitution where they at play up to date. These are the history. We see how President um, 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 Koma do his best. He bring people from the opposition, they serve now in government. He bring the Moje Kaika and others. He bring come a lot of so, people so from that, the that SNP. Example, really win, so. What's in going for challenge you and say, oh, oh what about um, um, Kiyateka? They himself don't do the same. In fact, he go to the highest position. The former vice president, who will say, for a deputy caretaker under the last government, he don't work with her right now. The spokesman okay, la, la, for the last government, la, la, just, please, not, not, not just the okay. reality, the, the, the mm -hmm. spokesman for the last a, a, a caretaker, you know, he don't work with her right now, Alpha Khan. And again, other people, them, where they work with right now, where now, big man them inside the last government and a big man inside on our own party. Okay, let me just give you a scenario of what is happening in the country. You see, I can always talk, say, the issue of weak leadership where they play at the highest political echelon of our country is a disgrace and an embarrassment to we, the young people, as well. Some of those people, some of you know, they see them as good models for all photocopy from them. The reason being, if I don't want to go too personal, but I believe, say, the issue of Victor Fo, the issue of Alpha Khan and others playing this political card with Mother Bill is not a genuine cause. And I believe, say, even the leadership of Mother Bill, he's not genuine about it. Because when people don't force them, they push them about the issue of political cohesion, about the issue of bringing people on board, even though they don't share the same political ideology, but for the interest of the country. But he's doing this not because of he gets interest in those people, for letting them can't transform Sierra Leone. Imagine when Alpha Khan was appointed as minister of um, resident minister. How much Alpha Khan can offer? rather than political decisions. Let's be honest. He was not appointed on the basis for can prom promote President Bill in government on administration leadership or for mitigate the hardship and the political intolerance where they go through. But he do am on the basis, say, Alpha Khan for able come in terms of political decisions for able neutralize waiting to happen at Poloko or waiting to happen at the Northwest. You understand? So these are the issues we need for land from, say. Those people, like, like Victor Fano says, frustration. Victor Fu from the morning, we don't say he score APC. But out mm. of frustration, out of malice, he's doing things beyond his control. To me, I just feel say these are it all boils around the fact say we get for be content as people. Hey, Galo, we get for be I, content. I'm the lot Yeah, so that just land. Yeah, that okay. just land. So in all of these puts together, in a nutshell, I just want to conclude for say the political tolerance where we APC the exhibits. Trust me, you define it extremely difficult for let it happen now the SLPP. The okay. facts okay. and they, the records and they, the history and they. But before that, they, uh, I won't forget Patricia. But and again, before Patricia can inside, let's just um, um, respond to somebody, please. Um, this one, when uh, James Pa, um, she says, says MBP, talk about Mara Bio Manifesto and not about the women's 10% quota. Okay, so we're not come for talk about Mara Bio Manifesto right now, but we want for you some of the things then for ask question because remember, we always want for all who that then a position of trust accountable. So if APC want for Kamna Power and then they talk to me right now, we get for ask them the question. Yeah, not to Mara Bio, we're talking about right now. If they want for talk anything about Mara Bio, then get right for go ahead and talk about them. But for now, not a matter, be a rather one for no waiting them people are get for offer. Now that we basically ask. Patricia, I want for our for country, but um, as you know, I just add you want for add to waiting um egale the galo the same. Yes, I just want to touch this. Yes, um so a galo mentioned the likes of Alpha Khan. Um these are individuals that we don't feel within the political system in Sierra Leone, within the APC party, and now it's gone to the SLPP. This is not like a protective factor for Alpha Khan. For way to enrich himself, for let the SLPP administration feel um, protector. You know, get no sake again at local. You know, it's not it's, it's not powerful there any longer. You know, we the young people already come up. Yes, we they do more things, better things there. Now that this that they pass the Alpha Khan. So again, this is not somebody where now for your selfishness make a double SLPP. But again, now this will talk about the leadership of the country, President Bill. 
to the one that don't, they don't feel we, they don't feel the young people there. So I just want to touch base on that. All right, so uh, Patricia. Yes, so um, for us, you remember the question we asked? Yes, the question we bring with we for uh, make changes in the country. Yes, um, I I didn't look at resources, right? Um, like when you talk about the economy, um, there's so many resources in a salon SSF where if managed appropriately, salon don't need nothing from no country. Sorry, and sorry, sorry that I come inside again. You know, I, I, like, I like when you talk. You, 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 when you talk, you, remember, you make I remember Marabio. <laughs> By now, I mean, Phil say, what do we get in terms of natural resources? We mm -hmm. offer the student and the pay with free. Based on what they no, tell me. You know? But are they, they, Based on what okay. Marabio, the campaign team, they tell me, yeah? They, they, they make emphasis on this. Yeah? We get a lot of resources, you know, the, the natural resources. And we go put things in place for everybody benefits. But I wonder how, how most people know any benefits from the natural resources that they get, if not the one that we actually link to the power that me. So, yes, please continue. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so like natural resources is not one thing, but waiting maybe they get at like what I've been telling you say like I've been in salon, and when when you go out like even a net you see you get like five like five different um um checkpoints them in like different different places like you get police you get soldier everybody they look for check like they they not even check yourself they all want money right and when you talk to them they say well. Go talk to your presidents because I can come between us. So, so, so you get all these people where apparently then they try to protect the safety of the people and the country, but they are being put to work in places where not look like they are doing much, but then just say take from the people. And these are people like them buy cry as them and stuff. So say you don't go, you don't go work, you don't get your small team. Then then before you cross that particular checkpoint, say you forget them something. Right, so these are all things like people and they walk, yes. But all of them thing they are so they go to the people they feel say now then get power, or the people that where the governments now don't give power, right? So that's one thing where we they hope for bring come. And another thing, another gender inclusion. Like when you see can we own team where they come up, so we get Salema to now Turkey, we get Rose now. Na United States and myself, and and the man them way way we they work with are very willing for work with we and see we as um, equals. And when you watch like the free time mayor as well, all the countries that are being thrown away is still they work resiliently for doing best for serve the country as much as possible. So those are all things where we they hope for say salon. So they they get to a point where women are not just seen as people that should be home and cook and support their husbands and take care of the kids and do all of those women things right like we all they come out and once we feel safe enough to do so we feel that support from the men them we are more than willing for work together and those things not the things were apc one for bring. Superman. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, thank you very much, Brother Shengle Pierre. And Famula the watch, I want to say plenty, plenty thank you. I want to make no say una hit that follow button. So anytime we get program, we will get automatic notification. And again, we will continue for share because a very interesting um, discussion we get now this evening. We then find young people there. And I must say, you've been very, very impressive. I, I mean, I like the analogy way. And um, brother Shengbe Pierre come up with this human and in weaking points. And then I believe say <laughs> that analogy they can go a long, long way. I mean, I believe say plenty of people and then I'm gonna now they laugh. Say this woman in <laughs> weaking points, you go, you go bring come but cool plenty, plenty arguments and then woman and, 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 and they host them this evening. But yes, the, I mean, but we're also talking about very important topics. I'm not for cost problem. I just did try to make <laughs> <example>. <laughs> so you better you better you better let you better family know. <laughs> It is it is very very important going forward because waiting with a discuss now yeah? they young people are now we open them for the future of we country because some of you now don't come at that young stage they will only go now the way they pin will open trust for make sure say they're able 
deliver that country in the, in the uh, not too um, distant future. So a better world being able to get them like platform like this, who they discuss about their issue there so amicably, and then we learn for dialogue as Sierraonians them wherever we find ourselves. That is very important. I believe say eventually we they head into the direction we want that country to go. But before I go any further, this gentleman, they are the only aspire, I mean, the lady and the gentleman, they only aspire for this position, them, whether they aspire so under the APC party and the young Congress, where then at the APC 60 join the diaspora. And I know say Mr. Poloko, but you they aspire for become the young Congress leader. Why make you feel say the APC people them for put and trust in you for become the young Congress leader? And while I give you one tangible um, reason, why make and how you go convince the APC people them for support you or for vote for you for become the young Congress leader in the diaspora region under the APC party? Thank you, thank you, Comrade Supermed. I think now politics is not as usual. There can't be no first thing in terms of um, selection. Um, obviously, as we know, Maybe they come up for the leadership position at UK and Ireland. Um, but unfortunately, the new constitution will be coming to effect when at the March 7, 2022 constitution, be disqualified most of the senior comrades there. These are individuals that were competent and get the capacity for their own leadership position. So it left a huge gap in the market for we as young people waiting between the so Why make it be disqualified before you go further? Why make it be disqualified some of we people then? Maybe one come up for them position in the um, because the new constitution came into effect when at the March 7, 2022 constitution will say the young people age has been defined between the age of 18 years to 35 years. And most of the comrades there below past that age of 35 years. So then they left a huge gap for we now as young people waiting between the age of 18 to 35, let we can now and can step in into their position they are. So obviously I'll be kind side and say I want this position. Now I move from the UK and Ireland branch and say I want to go to the diaspora when I massive position. But yet again, I get competent people again, the likes of Igalo when I'm young brother, we see now, the likes of Patricia, the likes of Rose with the America. I began for do some tea with a con con consultation. I began for get a dialogue with her. So we self is called consultative democracy. So I went to Sweden, I sat down with my brother Igalo. I went to Denmark, I sit down with Victor. I went to Canada, I spoke to Patricia. I traveled all around the diaspora and tell me, comrades, they say, I want this position on few of the areas they have for love improve the party. We all get similar ideas, the likes of Igalo. We sit down, we talk, we get similar ideas, similar vision for love help the APC party. On that note, we came to agreement to say, at this point in time, not to foresee because I better pass there, not to foresee because now me want to go for this leadership, but we agree say, at this point in time, let me be the front runner. Let me go before for lead the young people in the diaspora, whether between the age of 18 to 35. And today, I'm so happy I don't get the support of all the young people in the diaspora. They all don't stand behind me, and then we'll all start this journey together. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Polo Kobobo. So why make you feel say the people that stand behind you? I mean, or while I zoom into one of the things, them one of the attributes them where you they portray where they make let people stand behind you for support you for this particular position where they aspire for. Super mad, and we're going to 2023 election. The party need resources. The party need finance. We need money. We need for mobilize young people. We need for mobilize the big one there. Me a people's person again. Our personal skills with people. Again, our relationship with people there. Are they able to go some side? I move the crowd. Are they able to go some side? I talk and people they listen to me and they put the money. Right now, it's all about mobilizing and increase the membership of the young people within the diaspora, whether they're between the age of 18 to 35. And then the most significant thing we need for raise substantial amounts of funds for the party come 2023. And I believe, say, with the leadership we will get right now, now the diaspora six region will want to for build. The young people there will be able to raise substantial amounts of money for logo give the party for 2023. So these are some of the skills that were the count inside in terms of the administration will get for one. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Poloko. But I'll quickly go to Madam Patricia. Madam Patricia, I mean I find you you respond very fascinating with um with Shengbe Pierre. If you are, I like one thing. 
where you as a aspiring a young upcoming politician one bring come if they give the opportunity for become the deputy secretary for the this 60 john for the apc young congress waiting at that in the where you go bring come I think the one main thing, um, and thank you very much for that question. The one main thing is that me not a team player. Um, I believe say most of the things then we would struggle with in a salon, that mindset of me, 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 me. It has to be me or nobody else. Um, but when you come with a mind willing for work with the people where you get with you as a team, in the best interest of Mama Salon, then there's hope for the country and for the people of the country. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. Igalo, you be the talk about um, this current administration, the SAPP government. What thing and one thing, what did they do when a bad thing, when you feel safe, APC can't to govern us, they go can't change them, and our APC go change them. Just one example. Yeah, the one one key example now this winners take all. The winners take all situation, whereas SAPP win, even within themselves now the party, they only the give, they, they only the share the national cake to those who believe in President Bill because internally self within their own party they have been selfish and greedy. So that selfish greed, issues of corruption, now end up make with a reach to this point in just four years, now now five years now. So we not see lights at the end of the tunnel. So Sarelion, to me, I feel say if we all not come together as Sarelionians for stop President Bill in second term through the ballot box, you know thing will happen after the elections. President Bill is going to be a transitional leader. It will go for second time now. In not get for contest, no other elections again. Now that's how we go know in real color back. See, we can't see in only the wreck by the sink. And as the results of it, if you, you talk about, you talk about um, corruption and greed, now this current administration, how yes. if we see Canapa will tackle that problem of corruption and greed, now the country itself. Well, yeah, APC being in governance, we always get a proven record for share what we call development agenda and the strong goals of the very SLPP. I can tell you for free, I have a background of somebody coming from the Southeast. I was born and raised from Kenema. I know how dilapidated Kenema be day. I know the situation of Kenema. But when APC be in a power, President Koma do a lot for ensure say, Kenema benefits from the roads, feeder roads, constructions that will be the ground. And what be very clear now that when APC be in a power, will be they subsidize a lot of goods that will be the kind of the country. More, you know, so we know they export too much, we they import more. So we consume more than the way we with the export. So that makes us for be a very deprived country in terms of increasing with economic base. And when President Koma be day, what they be to do, they be cushioned down the pressure where they come on the economy by subsidizing through government intervention. Where, where, where these governments come, they go through what we call the IMF and other procedures, the way they be put. Don't forget, one of the key things we make, we lost 2018 elections. Now the conditionality is the way IMF become for impose. Say government for law for subsidized by plenty of things and so that they will get what they call the economy for gone. But it becomes a problem with our say no as a government, we cannot at this 11th hour, we cannot do that. For the past how many years as a government, we don't subsidize so that the pressure not will come on the consumers there. So what's happened when President Bill come, inexperienced as he is, ill advised as he is, he accept to those conditionalities, hoping that the economy will come boom through them grants and then loans there where they come. But unfortunately, what's not happen now the country, we don't sink in the process, even the loan stem. Where then they feel so we for they get those loans that they come, but you know they even transform because we they continue for pay the debt step where we already don't they call. So oh. if they find out say the, the economy not stable and 
prices that they skyrocket as a result of the fact that government don't pull land totally for subsidized to petrol, rice, then things that all the import some are basic commodities and necessities. We put call it in economic stamps. So then things that I don't find out say the market just don't the rough. Everything don't go up. Transportation, everything don't increase. Because fuel increase, transport they increase. So this is the problem we don't happen. Now, if you find out, I sure say the easy way make President Biogo don't sack even Minister of Finance. That Minister of Finance was part of the administration of the then president, and he was the external advisor in terms of loans and other debts. So if he don't come at this point in time, there must have been a policy we don't fail. And President Biogo don't say and nakedly say it was in advice. Things are just they go worse. Mm -hmm. This is what this was exactly what was happening. Where President Bill, you know, during manifesto, bogus need them be the talk. Then be, um, I can remember where Dr. Samura be reminder. Okay, when okay, and, and, and bright. I just want land, land, your land, land, your land. Yes, land queen. Then, yes, where now make where uh, Dr. Samura during the presidential debate. He said people are just they can't talk now of issues where they're not aware of. They don't know of how they continue to go on. You understand? Eh? So this is the effect. I can and, still and, remember and, his. And, and, Mara and he was very honest. Yeah. Mara Biobi actually don't reply to um, Dr. Samura indirectly. He said, you know, you know where you're outside of the power. Where you don't care, you know outside of the power. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so the thing, the thing don't, the thing don't turn over. You understand it? Eh? Things don't fall in the way that, you know, President Biosa self not even know how the economy they go. I know if he say, if you know, even know the price of petrol right now that the country. Uh, okay, okay, Mr. Igor. Don't we all are the force. Don't we all are the force. Before I bring him, um, Shembe Pier back, I want to tell Fabun and say, tomorrow at 9 p.m. Salon time, we also go host Mr. Ali Conte. Mr. Ali Conte and also another aspirant for um the Deputy Secretary General at the APC party. So it go deal with me tomorrow. So, 9 p.m. So Famulem, like we are telling them on hit the follow button. So whenever we get program, we will get notification automatically. Most of this program they can't on a courtesy of Salon TV Live and we are TV as well. And we broadcast na Nimigos platform them. So they tell na thank you as always. We continue for follow and share the program far and wide so that plenty, plenty Sigalonians them will be part and parcel of the discussion. It is very important that we keep the discussion going. You know, so that all of who issues them, we they put them at door, we talk about them, we agree for disagree peacefully. We 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 put to case them to the people them so that the people will be um, um well informed where they will make their choices them. As we see, then young people are they try for put them case across so the people will get for vote for them. Some of who not get for vote, so probably but who know they vote so they watch, we're not gonna be well informed about these young people and we're ready for making our choices going forward. So I go stop here for now and push the, the case back. So, Mr. Shengbe Pierre, over to you. All right. So, first of all, I want to tell people say now two presenters are inside this program. We na Superman and Shengbe Pierre, and uh, I don't follow the, the comments them. But interestingly, I uh, get I can let for money to me comments them from all side, all side. Are they so? Are they so? Are they So when people they see me being a different side, they say I I don't look get interest in the discussion. <laughs> Kemo and um, George, I I I still not comment there. I still not comment there. You know, I like one or two that they discuss about me. <laughs> so you ask yourself question. How oh, I don't know about you. You comment, eh? All right. So now some media always they, they watch what people in the talk, and I can use that for ask question. Like why are they don't begin with Patricia with some of the questions that we've been they call already. So but where they watch uh, and they comment, you know, go no say they watch them, but you go feel sorry for other thing. And I don't follow the discussion. You know, I like bigger picture. You know, young people them they can always say now then they are the center of violence. Now we go into the party. Not a secret say, in as much as court case day, the ITGC day, and other you know people them when a flag bear aspirants them get different different interests. Well, we in Ayaso can sit down and say sonko sonko. I don't know what people other people them say. Don't go. Confession, palaba, or, 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 or plaba, yeah, or some people can say palava. It left to how you have for talk. Am. It didn't sound a party. And una na young people. Na una na the leaders then of tomorrow, where they live with we right right now. In other words, when the back foot see the front foot they do, now you go for la makata. And see? So how or whose role? 
when una don't play for make sure say the plaba or the palava or the confession or the sonko sonko when they inside on a party right right now we are able for put them under control rather than it escalate or it come out out of uh, uh, you know order again again and again i start with my own candidate <laughs> Your own candidate. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I think um, when you say that, one thing come to mind for me now, how we they inform myself. Because yesterday I get a conversation with one of the comrades then, and just having conversations around what thing they happen and how we as young people, them, we, the Nadis party, go work together for make sure, say, yes, where the left foot go before the the right foot father. Like when you see something may happen, we all they come together for see how we go resolve that. Tit and Tom, they not the same mot. But then they jump, right? So like conflicts, like how one power we be don't say, not so something way strange to most people in any relationships, there is going to be conflict. But how you resolve that conflict day, now in they give you that knowledge for move forward from there and pass that on to we the young one day. So we not only they watch, but we also they work together for see how we go able for positively influence that conflict and resolution and also make sure say what in they happen, where we they see right now, not go trickle down to we where we they try to get to them points then they all right um i go to the gentleman um i'll start uh igalo you get me yeah thank thank you very much um me not to somebody we get yeah they get you um me not to somebody we get peace and conflict um theology background but when I be the university, I be the follow up students. Them way, they always feel way they into those causes. You know the problem where they happen within we party. We all know naturally in a leadership struggle. You know as of moments we structures them. The courts be done the polls. We structures them. You know see where the structures and they be in existence before the court they take a ruling. We be mitigate a lot of those things where you they point out to so violence and rancor because there is leadership. But now, as it stands, everybody is struggling. Everybody wants assert. Everybody want to be leader. But we, as young people, that is more so the reason why some of we are into this race, for able to call the shots and reach out to most of those people, including we colleague young people, and talk to them. Say, at moments and difficulties, times like this, where we party day, one of the key things we will be mindful and aware of, now that um, the party bigger than we individual and selfish interests. Even with flag bearers and leaders who will support for different positions, we for ensure see the interests of the party for supersede whatever the interest. I remember vividly we had a meeting with Comway Supermed. Don't forget Comway Supermed self now one party aspirants with the contest for the diaspora region as chairman. Job because of we forward looking and we want for be as best as possible for lies with those people with a vying for the high echelon of leadership. And one day in touch with them, share with young vision as young people. We someone into a meeting and we we'll ask them what in our plans for the diaspora a region. He explained to me consciously, we tell and say we are not going to endorse any candidates, but we want to let the process become as peaceful as much as possible. We want to see APC for be APC. Lord, we reserve, we fight, we daggers them for the bigger fight we can very shortly. So we is still a do that day behind the scene. Now we're not going to get what we call for organized conferences because you forget what we call the authority. And now we all did, we all know seeing a court ruling we deal with, including PPRC in the middle. Nobody not get any rights for hold any statutory conference for someone, flag bearers, or those involved because the court gets a ruling them and we go by the rulings. So we are trapped politically as a party and we live within the web of the central government. But what we do continue for do with the use them platforms there now for continue for share the gospel that APC is bigger than people and interests. 
And as young people in the party, we'll continue for inform, even with colleague young people right now, we vie for positions. Now the National Young Congress and the rest of it all say, let us don't overfight and exhaust. We must serve. We have a bigger picture. Let's remain calm and lower down the temperatures. For ensure, say, we get a very calm, calculated convention. When we get a leadership, I can assure you and I will bet you with the last drop of my blood, say, we as young people will continue for solidify the peace after the convention we will come and bring everybody on board and ensure, say, we fight the cause for the country and the people. Because that's the most key thing in the politics right now in the country. It's about the people. So we will do that day and we will continue for use their platform, like I say, for reach out to them and for get conference when we get the statutory mandate. But for now, we are trapped. We are in between governments. And as a result of it, we're not going to hold any legitimate conference. It has been happening. The young Congress beyond the whole conferences for able bring big people in for mingle with the young people and follow which we we'll call cohesion within the party. But for now, we don't get that legitimacy. But we can assure now, we assure the young people and say, we they do with young parts behind the scene. We are reaching out to dignitaries. We reach out to the committees. Me in particular, as somebody with a vine for the sector, general position of the young Congress, me now they are going secretary for Sweden branch. So are they around those people and will continue for preach the gospel? Say, now the country need we more than any other time before. For Lord, we will put an end to the natural numbers of President Bill in political negativity. We don't eat into the fabric not only about the economy, but we don't eat into the fabric of we cohesion as a nation. We, we culture don't they become so frustrating. Imagine New Year's Day, Christmas Day. You understand? We know they feel the culture and the, and the ambience because we have been trapped politically. President Bill no one let the people show their might. So they suppress everything just for ensure say, people will not come out for show strength. Say the change has come, the time is up, and for the pack now. But I can I can assure you, like I say, we get the experience, we get the background, and we'll continue for reach out to the stakeholders and follow we all come together and work in the interest of the country. All right. Hey, Thank you. Um, Mr. Pierre, I think going back, if we can look at the history of the APC, from where we get the 5th December 1995 constitution, I think, say, the history tell we say, with we going towards that constitution, there was lots of infighting, lots of struggle in terms of power. You know, we began our constitution, the winner be selection. But again, like we see, Comrade Gallo say, those in authority at the time, the leadership at the time, they be able to try for adjust and put things in place for the party. So now we don't change from the 1995 constitution to the March 7, 2022 constitution. Now it don't give the opportunity and the platform to everybody say, all man get the democratic right for let the come out and team up for position. Now then they make some of we don't come out they like it today, the team up for leadership positions there, for big position within the party. But we as young people, what we don't try to do at this early stage is to invite individuals, invite stakeholders there within the party, and let we discuss with them and let we get a dialogue with them. Because we believe, say, through the dialogue, yes, we'll be able to understand ourselves. I'll be recently there as alone. Obviously, the young people are back with one leadership at the party. I'll be able to meet with a few of them and say, listen, we are all comrades, we are all young people. Yes, I know we all want to be leaders, we are all one leadership position. But let's sit down, let's discuss in terms of how we go able to improve the party. The APC, nine, nine for the, at the center, nine at the big picture there. We all want to go into election, let will succeed and let will win 2023 election. So on that note, we they always de de associate with self from any infighting who not belong to no camp, we just de support the APC and make sure say the APC come back in governance 2023. Where the message will be always the send to our comrades there. Let we respect yourself. Let we do with politics with integrity. You know, when you campaign and send a message with integrity, then you're able to get a clear message out there. But the politics of backstabbing and infighting, physical fights, you know, they again, because now it's all about policies, ideas, vision, for logo as young people. So we don't take no decision there as young people. 
follow the engage some of the stick stakeholders there. Like comrade Egal will say, we do not get meeting with Supermed, we don't get meeting with Sean. With the send letters they out and chairman the way that they aspire for diaspora position, where they want to be flag there and within the party, then they send letter towards the secretariat, then they send letters there towards we they say they want to meet it with. Because I believe for say we the young people and now we want to take over the leadership of the party, we're more equipped. We get the knowledge, we get the expertise for us, you know. Now ask the question in terms of who's are the one capable as a party. So we they continue for preach peace and cohesion within the party. Yes, thank you very much, um, brother um, Poloko Bobo, Igalu, and Madam Patricia. And again, ladies and gentlemen, today we got an exclusive. We then young people there, so fine young people in na the APC party where they vie for position in the APC party sixth region young congress. And uh, Mr. Poloko Bobo they vie for become the leader of that young congress day na the APC party um, sixth region. Mr. Igalo also the vibe for become the secretary for that young Congress day in the sixth region. Then we get Madam Patricia with the vibe for become the deputy secretary in that young Congress day in the sixth region of the APC party. So again, as well, they see we don't get um, Madam Fatima Conte as well just the, during the join we. I want to um, give Madam Fatima Conte audience quickly before we come back. Maybe Madam Fatima Conte won't pose a question so we guess they will get today and uh, maybe I'll make a statement. Over to you, Madam Fatima Conte. Oh, good evening, everybody. Um, I want to share Salon Kuse. Um, being a Fatima Conte, the um, human rights activist. Um, I, I think just no, I don't know who was speaking where they talk about you know the um unity business we all for come together and that's true i want to just you know botch us on that say um we all now one regardless you know within slpp they need to do the apc and stop but we only get one salon we don't get any other place even though we are you know in different parts of the world but you know na salon are born so i won't go back my parents, my mama did it. I don't go talk to my parents because my mama, I think my mama did do right now. You know, she's here. And I, I get siblings then they, you know, the um, um, Salona, we all get her. So we for beautify our land. We live now in the 21st century. So I don't care what can happen, you know, APC, we have to stop this infighting and nobody's better than anybody, nobody. And in fact, not to them get the place, okay. Not to them get uh, um, the party. If anybody wants show, say then get you know um, um, the party. We want to know the autograph, the autobiography, because for me, yeah. Now we've abandoned that the founder of APC, so I'm not going to sit down here. The infighting going on, like you know, I speak against it because me, we all our brothers keeper. You know, it don't say that today, not the first time. You know what? I stand on this. You know, I'm always talking about it, but today, and I must say, you know, that we're preparing at the founders, and nobody can tell me, say, you know, I have right on APC because APC are the grassroots property. If the grassroots them, these are the voters, and they are suffering. And what have you guys done for them before this? What you know, before you when they aspire for this, uh, uh, what you want to aspire for? When I mean, don't do work for them, we want to know. And they want to know this. It's not just, okay, I want this position. I'm going to get it. We have people in prison. Have you tried? Like, you know, I told the flag bearers. Have you tried, you know, to get them out? What have you done? What have you done for the party? What have you done for your people? It's not just what your people can do for you. What have you been doing for them? We have to know this. We have to know this. And people are suffering. People are not eating. Instead of you driving, you know, nice cars and do this and spend your money in other things, you know, we can make other people eat. And the fundamental right way God give we, one of these things, we have to be our brother's keeper. If you brought her hungry, now for feed them. If you need water, now for give them water for drink. If you the dress fine, you brought her not dress fine. How are you a human? 
if you see somebody in the parish, in Pekin in the parish, and you get Pekin, you get brought at them. Do you want to see that happen? No. We all have to work together. It's a teamwork to build up our nation. And this time, I'm going to stand on my legs. It's not going to happen. With the grace of God, God will help me. Because, you know, one person can make a difference. And I'm going to stand here and make that difference. Because I'm not going to allow nobody to bring anybody down. And where when I cannot get to this position, when I talk to people, they're like, gosh, people, when they bring what I come inside the party, the you, the, you know, the voters, the grassroots, when they come, oh, Mary person go. It's not going to happen anymore. You should know that they're coming there for something. You cannot speak to them arrogantly. We're not going to accept that. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much for that passionate contribution, Madam Fatima Conte, as always. Now, we're resident uh, human rights activist and also a philanthropist. Now, somebody way very, very passionate about salon issues then. Now, they revert back to, um, um, we, 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 we find guests that will get an answer, and very soon, we will get some phone calls then. People that will contribute, as always, we, um, um, um Shemir Pierre will take them call and there and pose the question and directly to Una and some of the comments himself will go highlight them. But quickly before we go to that particular um uh, section of the of the discussion this evening, um I want to come back to we to we guess them quickly for ask some I think say very important to what and one know about. Um Una they vibe for them particular position they are so in the young congress for the APC in the diaspora region. The elections that don't begin to take place now the um the lower level them and hopefully it will come to that on a young level them. What's on the assessment of the whole process so far? What you are facing that challenges them way on the one the people them more responsible because yesterday we get the chairman here so responsible for conduct the election, Mr. Lawyer Ibrahim. So he will be there with Una yesterday. We'll post some of those questions to him. But what's on our own concern so far? So when this process don't begin. In relation to how they do the process, what you're facing a challenge, what you're facing as people at the diaspora, maybe you're go urge the people who are responsible for conducting election there, so for make some sort of amendment going forward. Over to you first, um, Mr. Igalu. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. Um, in politics, we get what we call time. They say time in itself is very neutral. It either can be used progressively or destructively. But above all, the time is always ripe to do what is right. As a party at this defining moment, all which we they ask for, if we don't reach and resolve for go into internal democracy based on the recent constitution, may appeal to um 21 man committee, the Elections Management Committee and all our stakeholders uh, that um, let we allow democracy for prevail. This is not going to be a winner's take all. Me, for instance, come with the Gallo. I began interest for vying for the position of the diaspora regional leadership for contest with Puloko Bobo. But when me and Puloko Bobo discussed personally, I felt convinced about his plans that we shared almost the same vision and we cannot lead at the same time. What I do, I conceive because desperation, I believe in destiny. I believe the future of myself are not the determiner by myself. God gave plans for we all. At this particular moment, I appeal to everybody, flag bearers, we already run for positions. Let's exercise restraints and pull malice out of the process. Let them allow the process for go through. Democracy in itself is not going to be perfect 100%, more especially when for the past decade, as a party, we have not been practicing internal democracy. So when we do this thing, we get forget flaws and challenges. But a lot of people are not thrive on those flaws and challenges for continue for derailed the progress of the party for contest 20, these 2023 elections. So my appeal to everybody, let's all on board this vehicle to go through this journey, a one with many roads and many possibilities. United we stand as a party divided, there is little we can gain in the midst of things that split us asunder. The politics of Namiton, the politics of Nami region in time, the politics of Nami district, 
the politics of now your candidate this if he become president you become flag bearer now we get for benefits the politics of campism cabalism regionalism within the party it has to stop it should be politics of the team the past now we all on board this vehicle for fight the common enemy we don't derail the progress of mama salon the country they cry we are in pain even though they are the diaspora they feel the pain because when things are difficult for them there it they add more pressure to we for do extra job we were not supposed to do so all what we they say the committees please as soon as they na PPRC for resolve the petitions, them, we accept those petitions in good faith. Whatever resolution we go come at the end of the day, let it be resolved in the interest of the nation. May I they appeal to everybody. We should all not be desperate at the same time. Today na for Igalo, sometimes to run for the next person. I stoop down for Puloko Bobo not to be quite competent past me, not to be quite eloquent past me, not to be quite lamb book past me, but now because I feel convinced. Say, there are times and seasons. Nine time, like your chance. Okay. I can make him okay. become great as a powerful sector. Me so survive under them. We all get the praise together. So this togetherness, if a day, if it happen, more we'll not here ourselves for common position. After three years, just not back again. We they get another convention. We they get elections and back. So it's just like a circle will just get for accept. Today is not for you. Maybe tomorrow is for you. You go and let the next man support you. You understand? So let's support each other in this process. We all get with wrongs, we get with flaws, them, but let them not outweigh we 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 strength for win this election where they can. Okay, then thank you very much, Mr. Igalo. And I'll give that to my, Madam my um to Madam Patricia. Madam Patricia, the what are they trying to get at? The process, the process where they go on with the lower level elections and, and also take into consideration the Diaspora elections in we get for can start more over the regional elections when they go for so anything that they want to say maybe the people that already conduct this whole process need for look back into and we want to have that message to reach them. Um, thank you very much, um, Supermed. Um, for Botrus waiting, comrade Igalo don't say, um, coming back to the that individual versus um collective um benefits that na one thing we go affect the process because whatever is affected down there it it, it trickle up to the rest of the other um teams and steps them we need for be done so um i will continue for app for an um, appeal so we big one out there say salon na inner the goal how we all they come together for can benefit salon. We all na salon man them, and we all na individuals them. But when we all come together with the common interest of Mama Salon, how do we work together for make sure say Mama Salon is known out there? Mama Salon start for laugh again. Mama Salon feel proud of in picking them. Then things like waiting happen between comrade Kutlokabobo and comrade. Igalo will continue for happen with the big one them and we will not have their in their in-house fighting they have so where they go through on right now. We all can learn from each other. We all get strength them. And when we recognize we strength them, we put all of that together for the benefit of the whole. So I they reach out again and they for big we all say make we focus on the common goal which is Mama Salon. And forget that, we need to work together as a team. Thank you. Oh, okay, then thank you very much, Madam Patricia. And again, I'll, I'll go now to Mr. Polokobo. Mr. Polokobo, what I was getting at here, Una na aspirant same na the sixth region. And one thing we will be highlighted yesterday with Lua Ibrahim Sori, before we revert back to Shengme Pia, probably go bring some fam family in the yard, is that the idea for say the, the election that take place in a salon for the region, the diaspora regional election is okay. But what about the people who get for votes? We get for command the constituencies them and the district and the diaspora. Would they most of them go go turn for go votes? What's not the mechanism? Have they taken that into consideration? So I don't know whether I will not get any other doubt or any other issue. But we feel say probably 
una need for dialogue with or maybe I am um, highlight for people and the, the party all about from the diaspora say go back salon as far as this process they, they carry on at the moment. Thank you, thank you, Supermed. Um, we don't come off far as a party, you know. Um, the past couple of years, um, we don't go through lots of difficulties there. We don't see significant high cases of court ruling. We don't see significant high cases of petition within the party. Um, we don't see the infighting within the party. Now we don't get to this level of the party where we get an interim leadership leadership of the party. Whether they try for put mechanism in place for let them do all the lower level election, come to the district, the diaspora, and then the national for the national convention. We only get limited time at the moment. In the next couple of weeks, let's say three to four weeks, we for do finish with all elections and we don't get flag bearer. Yesterday, I listened to the interview when I interviewed Ibrahim Sori. For we, when they aspire for regional positions, obviously, when they look at the financial constraint, where the impact we get forget on we, in terms of myself, my comrades, they all from the different countries that we the day. Because what we don't care for do is identify young people within the all of the diaspora from all over the place. How they able to get all these young people for go free to follow go do this election? Again, it's involved a lot, lots of financial constraint. We they think about with comrades there, whether they're in Africa, whether they're not fortunate for them at that part of the world, they are, whether they're not getting resources for let them travel for go for most of the day to Sierra Leone for let them go vote. So I think say so, we they try to reach out to the 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 ITGC through obviously a Galloway, the part of the Secretariat, for let them put mechanism in place. I think say so, we are more powerful now as a party without then governance. On so many occasions, you know, we don't serve the people of Sierra Leone. We get competent people who forget mechanism in place where about people from the diaspora forget the platform for letting them vote virtually or any other means. The resources, at least, law we keep out for 2023. So, me now, one possible way they push on that as they aspire for this leadership say, what if not all about Poloko, but Poloko Baba go to Salon and go. Um, participate in terms of the, the convention. What about other young people there? Eh? Whether they aspire for position? So I believe, say, in the next couple of days to a week, Ayari Ibrahim sorry, said that they try to resolve things within yeah, the next the next week or so. But we need to reach out to some of these comrades. Eh? Let them think about who they are the diaspora. It's not it's not the same anymore. Things are very difficult. Financial constraint will all go through that day. Let them put mechanism in place for we We'll get for go salon or the one that they will go salon for let them go vote. But super made me message to all comrades, like what Igalo does say. We are all brothers, we are all sisters, we are all comrades in the struggle of the APC. I believe say we'll go for treat yourself with respect and let we do we campaign there in a very peaceful manner. Because the bigger picture is the APC party. Once the APC party come in governance, we'll go able to transform the lives of young people and the lives of people in a salon. So do you in a law come together? I know we all fight for leadership, but let's sit down, let's negotiate, let's sit down, let's have a dialogue, and let we see how they will support yourself going forward. Because the bigger picture is the APC party. Okay, then thank you very much, brother Poloko Baba. And back to yeah. you, brother Shane. Yeah. Superman. Yeah. Yes, go ahead. Before Shane yeah, come come yes, Superman, go before Senge Pierre can slide. I'm I'm sorry. Yeah, in, in addendum to we see my colleagues then just don't mention as somebody where they part of the the forum with them they establish for sectors and the branches and other stuff. You know, in situations like this, I can always say the only ultimate thing is sacrifice. Sacrifice now the only ultimate thing is who all will pay for right now. Because at its stance, even the 21 man committee, they know they work within the jurisdictions of their own mandate and a court decision. And the court it really cites it cites the, the conventions then to some point. We not be the expect say, or we expect say issues of petitions and go come. It takes time with the PPRC for let them address some of them petitions. Yeah, look the lower level elections that we never conduct. Since those elections were conducted, we know any results that it's because with the again, I'm not the top of petitions. They go petition back in there is conflict with their rise about you know this then one try for micromanage the process. So these are like I say no more. Now sacrifice no more super made me and you two get for sacrifice. We might not have well, every before you go body further, on board uh, in this particular process. Mr. Igalo, Given... before, you go further, before I bring up, let me just interject quickly. I mm -hmm. think so the point they make is not for one of the aspirants where they go for go party election day. 
But you know, say now the, the diaspora, you get constituency, you get district, and all of those people now the delegates them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't understand. I don't understand the point. If they go able if the party will make exactly. mechanism, if them people they not meet up for go, but then for able votes, even though the neighbor meet up for go, who say every day, then go able vote so that as many people as possible go able vote. Well, in the well, that boils that that boils that that boils around even the constituting the constitution say. Does the constitution, the new constitution, make provision for proxy voting? Because no, that this is, is the question we need voting, to ask. Egalo, So we need for go back saying. again. Proxy voting, now where mm -hmm. they send somebody for go vote for you, this is not that. There are apps now we go able to use where they vote live. Like when they salon so they now, who they vote yes, live. Yes, yes, yes. So so exactly, exactly. Let me just come. Another, another, another point, I want to reach to that point. Because we'll be flagged and they erase and more put the... The diaspora representative then say, for let we not disenfranchise or people away they pay their monthly subscriptions now those branches for keep the party. The need for create a platform like a Zoom internet program, whereas branches then will connect with the membership, then go through the list by identification. But you know the other thing back again, don't forget the internet again, it gets as long as the system not well prepared, they not well planned. Frauds and other things that will take place for micromanaging things for going in the favor of people, even those who are not deserving. So these are all some of the challenges, like I mentioned. Say we flag now the sectary forum, let them try for give response, and hold and not get any brief against those who are representing us. But I believe so they say they do their best and for reach out to the committee for ensure say they create that level playing field for let everybody at least participate. But like I say, I can reiterate this point again, that we cannot have everybody on board to participate at this dying moment because we are restricted and we are not planning by ourselves. Now the court in order and the decisions don't can squeeze everything. Otherwise, now time, like I tell you, all NCR, they take time. And when the time is not available, what we get for do as a party? We just get for ensure we accept the outcome, learn from this experience going forward. Okay, thank you very much, brother Igalo. I mean, I think then I point I know them for looking to like you say, maybe then we get an alternative. Over to you, brother Shengme Pierre. Exactly, we don't flag that today. Mm -hmm. All right, sorry, Chuma. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And the uh, question we come inside, where I feel say, when I need for answer, when I say, when I go for big, big position, then young people, then and at the diaspora, not to just one district. Now, the diaspora, when they talk about, so we mean say, when I get stake. Um, when them probably have been on the day inside on a party with regards, you know, the faction there, Abdul Kabu, um, 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 Peter Conte, when I be not make any call to any one of them for discuss them particular issue they did for CC, then put them party first and not to, not to, um, any other issue, we then will get where people always don't talk about. Yes, who that can first go? Uh, I, I, can, I can come in. Yeah, come on, you Yeah, okay. Like me, I'm the me not the outgoing secretary for APC Sweden branch. When um the courts may make a decision, when Peter Conte was brought in for be the interim chairman, I have my friends, my colleagues who will be the college, na 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 the all day, na the same um na the same grouping. I contacted in the Peter Conte directly. He's a young man, irrespective of the fact of the age. But maybe some in terms of political experience, some of you get and pass them because we've been around. You understand? With no disrespect to them. But it's true. I try for reach out and call. Say, we now have an opportunity as young people for unify and unite this party. Let we put aside what we call ego and pride. And let not allow people and for use we for do this reformation for carry on so that everybody will feel like he's part of the process. Abdul Kabo being the sexy. Is a colleague and equally a mentor. I remember I meet him from Abbey College. Then say maybe they finally I was the inscript student you know, president. I get a number. All of them we contact them. We try for reach out to them as well. Like me personally, like I say, we reach out to them for ensure say let them all work together. They are all young people within that committee. Now very few old people and then get the rest of the all are young people. Let them work in the interest of the party. Because at the end of the day, they still get a history within the comic at these trying times of the party. So it's not like now more of talking with you do. 
but we are equally in touch with most of them stakeholders there. Yeah? Personally, they reach out to them for ensure that let it be me, my own idea why I even get it for that committee. It should be like a give and take situation, not a win-win situation, or not make the committee for let one side win or everybody win. Now, everybody for win. Give and take. They should have negotiated this thing at the initial stage. But I, I, I can understand when there is political tussle and struggles in terms of leadership, more especially if we don't in a power, then it can't slip out of governance. You know, so when they see the hope coming, you they see the infighting, they intensify. But we go continue for appeal and talk to them, say the time don't ripe enough for let them put an end to all the shenanigans and focus on the bigger picture. You might not be a leader of APC today, but what you never can tell, whosoever emerged for be president of the country, maybe you go see your CV and say an interesting say you will be able to serve in social capacity for delivering at the country. That is how they run the government. And that is how political parties can appreciate people who get the willingness for serve. So the issue of internal positions is not the A all and B all. Although we conscious aware say, then stage your all the world will go through, a boys around, would have forbid the flag bearer. This is the interest. The old facts from this thing now, would have forbid the flag bearer. Camp A, one B, Camp B, Camp A, Camp C, Camp W, all those things are not necessary. So, my appeal, and I continue for appeal, I will continue for talk to them. For let them ensure, say, let them give peace and democracy a chance to the party. Let them forget about all the other alpha fifteen them, more especially on personal grounds. Lord will work in the interest of the party and the country. So, we don't do answer. Me personally, I've been doing it, and I know say Puloko Bobo, instead of influential somebody, he has equally been doing it in the call. Because we all get interest for the country. It's not just about APC. Our interest is about the country. Which will be the future of young people of Okana power. How we go day day for advocate for the young people. We be done the start time from President Kuma in time. President Kuma follow the history. He's the only president in the saloon. We don't vag in life for the young people. He create all the structures. Then say for let young people them. For let development happen now young people their life. It they take two decades. Then 20 years. In 10 years time he establish all the structures necessary for build the youth sector. I was the beneficiary to it. Apart from him, I was the first PR for the Ministry of Youth Affairs. All the structures are established. Now, SAP people, then they use. Where they can see, they don't meet nothing. They don't create nothing up to date. These are the structures they are using. So the question will go ask, what is new in the new direction? I can pause now and allow my colleagues them as well. Um, thank you. Thank you, Comrade Gallo. I think... Yeah, you don't mention a lot actually. Um, again, just like we see Comrade Gallo say, for me, I don't join the APC, I don't go through the academy, I don't learn about the party structure. Yes, obviously, we can make personal uh, uh, conversation with these individuals, but in APC, we all don't go through the structure, the ranks and file within the party, you get for go through what we call structure. At this point, because we position what they aspire for, are uh, just aspiration. Until we don't get a position there, we go become as young people there. We send letters, we do some form of communication as young people from the diaspora, because I not be the part of the leadership of the UK in terms of young people. I get people there be at the forefront of the leadership. So for me, I have to respect those individuals in terms of taking decision and contacting those individuals there, where they are they at the forefront of the party, and also we get the leadership of the APC UK and Ireland branch, when are uh, under Comrade Mustafa Ahmed Koma, these are the people there, where they make the decision, where they get the dialogue with the leadership of the party. So it's all about giving them the space and opportunity for let them build relationship and try to get a, a consultation with these individuals. But behind the scene, because we bargain relationship with the leadership of the party, we've gone from the Anes by Koma, we've gone there, we sat with him, we tell us, pa, we need peace at this party. While I help, we follow get peace at this party. We come out there, we go to the ambassador for the Yansane, we go to the Minkailo Mansare, we went to Cherry Koko, we spoke to all the stakeholders of the party, because we as young people, now we they suffer the most, you know? Now we want kind of the country, lock out ideas, they lock out initiative there. We get people among we, with a global old position of trust, position of leadership, now we able to help the country. So we're still there on that channel in terms of having dialogue 
private discussion. But I believe, say, in the next couple of weeks, the party could all settle and we'll go, go all get all election done and dusted. And we'll go begin the act as a group, as an executive, and we'll put more power into things. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, and personally, me not get um, those those personal contacts. They cannot another. They cannot get those contacts for like directly contact these leaders yet. But I would say, are they um, actively in our groups and conversations where are they get um, updates from these um, amazing comrades and from me on branch as well? as to all the work that's being done for like uh, um, connect with these leaders and try for um resolve things that needs to be resolved for sure all right thank you thank you very much well i think um one last thing we may go left for us Una, because on all the go and on all get different different people the way they contest in the on our own different different position then so you know if they elect you in that position, the waiting you will bring will be different from waiting already exists. I'll start with speaking, Patricia. That will be my, my last question for now. If they elect me in the position where they aspire for, mm. waiting I will bring, we will we're not already. We, we will be different from waiting already be done. So I, I think a good thing is this whole um, um, team is new, like this in particular um diaspora and um, region where we they um, aspire for so we get for be that first group of people where they create things and set a good example where we go um hopefully pass down so the people and we go come after we so um like how i i don't say putting people and for expect from me now that teamwork like that willingness for work together as a team first of all for the benefits of salon then the party, with that recognition, say we all now humans are willing for look out for the strengths of each member of the team and build on that, and also bring me own strengths to the table so together we can all work together for the benefit of the whole. Thank you. All right, for talk more. Thank you, Singapore. I think some of we do so far we don't struggle inside the APC because um, again. The one that will meet some of the individuals there, they're afraid talents, they're afraid young people already they come up for get the opportunity. You know, they put you in a position where about unable outshine, unable to come out, let we show what we're able to do in our society. Um, I think in terms of leadership, what I don't learn over the years, my mentor there, what they don't guide me through, it's about giving people the opportunity, the chance. This is not only about potluck of ball. But local but don't make a name is very popular within the party structure and the party as a whole. What about young people there? So the first thing we we'll discuss with Igalo, let's identify young people. Young people are who can join we executive and who they're able to represent we in the diaspora and in national politics. I want send young people who they're able to represent me if I'm able to go by a conference. This is where we come with the likes of Patricia. We call the likes of Rose from USA. We call comrades there from Africa, the Turkey, the Guinea, the Gambia, the Liberia. These are young people where probably are older past for a couple of years. But I want to give them the platform, let them back do a lot at the party, let them back show their talents and what they're able to do. Because me suffer than the inside the party, they must me for learning to come up. But I get resilience, I get passion, I get the determination and drive for that push through. So now, delicate today, where this interview come up, we invite the likes of Patricia. We believe in women there. You know, we believe in other young people there. Let them come, let them cash your case. So this is the one thing where I believe, say, I go able to count inside more young people in the diaspora. Let them, let them back up play an active politics. Okay. Oh. Eh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, eh, me, if I uh, opportune, for be the next or for be the first ever Secretary General of the Young Congress and the Diaspora, we automatically I will become the administrative head of the the branch for young people, the region. Sorry. Me and somebody we believe in the collective responsibility. 
I believe, say, given my experience in the youth sector, I go able help a lot for law will bring the desired changes because we already know what's in the lapses within the youth sector, not only the party, but the country. One of the key things we'll go focus on and, and as an administrator, now for law we will build the database of the young people in the diaspora. Because the database now one thing that we're very missing in the diaspora in terms of what's not the age brackets. Now we don't get a new constitution, we define the age. How we will incorporate, how we will identify young people. You will know not the diaspora young people and they're not too busy too much they look for discuss politics but are not interested what is going to be a convincing power for reach out to them don't forget we get a lot of young people in back again we don't believe in politics at all SAPP, APC, they just feel saying they don't pull alone they don't believe waiting we go able to do for make them believe say the next echelon of political leadership in this year's elections we will be occupied by a member of the APC we will we convince them, say, these are going to be the policies of we party where they can a government. We go articulate those policies and make the young people feel part of the process. And again, we go, you know, there's, there's going to be a nexus between us and the National Young Congress. Already the National Young Congress, they do establish, they get every year, they get what they call youth conference where they can do. We do it as diaspora. What in new what we have to do now for ensure we mobilize the resources and give them the necessary support. I will tell you for free, say, we will traverse for support, not just only the party, but for support the candidates again. We will come for can redeem Mama Saloon from the current political and social economic entanglement problems we get. That policy way they get, we for defined what are the rules and responsibilities of young people as dynamo of society. This we go for bring camp, and I want for believe the team we will build is a mixture and a barrage of different characters from different countries. We're not only limited to UK, we're not only limited to America, like me now from Sweden. You know, say in politics in the diaspora and America and UK, and then we don't the champion them. But this time around, we'll get for see countries like Sweden, then get for come swiftly for address the administrative concerns of young people. The capacity day, the willingness day, and we we'll all go work collectively for ensure say the data we're missing now the diaspora as a region. We go build them and we build that capacity for young people. So that when we do go salon, we get a database where they present to the leadership say this now which and which we don't do. Now the database is don't forget one of the key things we SPP they use for creates a scenario like they are working now data then they use their data they are when all reflect of what's in the happen at the country but another data then they use for economic policies we make the development partners them then still some of them believe say they are doing well but when you go on at the way go on at the ground those data has not reflect what's in the happen at the country and at that day we as a party lack and we need for billion from time in memorial even then challenges are where the party they face about issue of membership. Now, because we lack the data system. And that is the thing we get for focus on, say, for let APC go before you accept democracy within, we for build the database. And I can assure you, the young people of the diaspora region, we go champion that cause, a bring a change, we go affect the party as a whole. Okay, then, thank you very much. Thank you very much, um... We don't find young comrades the way they are so today. Family, we want to again plenty, plenty. Thank you. As we can fit for roundup, it's been a long, serious conversation. We don't get yet plenty, plenty from them fine young people. They are very impressive and, um, you know, and uh, it really give you the give up to the APC as a party for so they get young, committed, and determined, dedicated, and um, highly young people who are able to articulate the points and very, very good. So they can fit for roundup now. And uh, we'll tell that plenty, plenty, thank you. But before we round up, we will give the participants again, the people that we host today, Mr. Igalo, Mr. Poloko Bobo, and Madam Patricia, two, two minutes for me to make the appeal to potential delegates them out there in the diaspora. We'll get for vote for them. Make the appeal to them, one and for vote for them. We'll just two, two minutes. And after that, we'll give the other one to Madam Fatima for closing. And obviously, Shengbe Pierre. But I will tell them back, say, tomorrow, 9 p.m., we'll get. Mr. Ali Conte, Mr. Ali Conte, 
now be the former secretary for the youth congress but now in the vibe for become the deputy organizing national organizing secretary for the party we will get them tomorrow 9 p.m so we are tuning in and we'll continue for follow platform them so anytime we get program we will get notification automatically so i will begin with um um the lady first what's now you what's now you last two minutes you last message to people them we potentially get for vote for you so just two minutes more for conclude please thank you very much um super med and to to now all with listen for now all thank you again mina patisha and i want to ask una all say make una put una trust in me um as an individual and in we as a team um i don't talk about me strength of teamwork but one thing i want to speak to now me and um, background in social work be um having a background in social work i make a me personal responsibility for being mindful of the social issues i don't work as an addiction counselor and now the work as a mental health therapist so talking about the kush issue in a salon where they really pull down we youth in a salon me i go tell now i'll say I will make a new personal responsibility for always bring that up to the team. Follow, see how the small knowledge way we get Nayaso and the resources them way we get, how we we'll come together for not just with the youth the Nayaso, but especially the youth the Nasalo and try for tackle this issue we won't forget the best of we youth the Nasalo. So me are the big one I'll say. If we put on a hope and trust in me and in we as a team, I know we'll let Una down. Una, thank you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Igalo. Over to you. Yeah, um, it was once stated by a self political guru. He said, Group of people can achieve much more than individuals acting alone. Organizations and political institutions are said to be the dominant. In contemporary industrial society, the ultimate lamentation on human goals is not by human intelligence or by technology, but it is by the ability of people working together to ensure that effectiveness is born. If we today as comrades decided to destroy the APC, it may not be by nuclear weapons or any other means, but it's as a result of the fact that we feel for recognizing we all for work together as a team. Comrade Igalo, is in this race not because of myself. Comrade Egalo came for be a humble servant as it used to be. As somebody we don't learn through the ranks and we don't around with the experience, I believe say he voted in as the secretary of the young people at the diaspora. Not only the young people will benefit, but even people within the diaspora, they self equally will benefit from the political ambience and leadership we will provide, we will provide including the team. So it's going to be collective responsibility. I am not desperate, but I am in this race to fight a journey cause for bringing the party back to governance. So delegate them. See come with Egalo as your humble servants. See me as person who have come to change the dynamo of young people. See me as somebody who believe in relating to people, somebody where they keep communication, Somebody will believe in administrative work. Somebody will always will call me at any given time. And I'm ready to respond as long as he get for deal with the duty of the party. This is the kind of committed people what we want for seeing at the diaspora region. We already contest for position. Now we make ourselves available. And ensure say we're ready for pay the ultimate price, which is sacrifice for ensure say we bring with party to governance. I'm available at any time. And I want for wish the young people of my party and Sierra Leone a prosperous new year that will be able to effect the regime change that we all desire. Comrade Ali Conte, this is a personal information to you. You happen to be a brother. You happen to be a mentor. I want to wish you all the best in your political journey. I want to wish you and Timbo because we are all young people who have been in that youth league. Let it be a battle of supremacy. Let it be a battle where we will not for tear each other apart. Don't allow politics to separate you guys. You've been around for far too long. When I get the experience, we are all capable for serve. So when I go in a, in a genuine contest, let at the end, 
Uda win, Uda loss, Una embrace each other as brothers. Una not become okay. divided on issues and way tomorrow will affect Una political career. I want for wish Una all the best. Okay, then. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Igalo. And over to you, to Mr. Poloko Bobo. Thank you, Supermed. Um, and I thank you for this opportunity once more. Comrades all, I did directly speak to the delegate there today. I did speak to the entire membership of the APC party. I come at this race for the APC, Diaspora Regional Young Leader, because I know say I knock in the rest we attire. I can always rest we are done done. My biggest success there don't come out for my biggest failure in life. Comrades all, and I know me say are very real, are honest with myself, are honest with me truths, way delicacy they don't make, I don't achieve lots of my aspiration. I know say this job at hand, this tax for that take up the leadership, in not get for come easy, but mm -hmm. I ready for go out there and learn make things work. Nobody not get for rescue me in terms of this leadership, but I ready for dedicate me time and me determination for that make sure say, we come back to power 2023. And I know say I need afraid for that make decision. I go make decision that will go benefit the young people there and will go benefit the APC party. I'm very decisive. I'm very fearless. And I have the power for that change in life and the young people their life. My entrance to this race, again, for being legitimate. The performance for again, for gainer, again, for being legitimate. The politics will be get before when I through selection and not the happen again. Now it's politics by efficiency. Comrades all, are they plead to in Selena give me this opportunity? Last serve the diaspora, last serve the young people there, and now bring advocacy to the young people of the diaspora. Do you are the plead for now? Are the plead to in Selena go out there and I vote for me for that succeed for that become the next diaspora regional young leader? And I thank you. Okay, thank you very much, um, Mr. Igalo, Mr. Polo Kobobo, and Madam Patricia. Over to you, Madam Fatima Conte. Just the last word, just two minutes for wrap up. You message to uh, to Fambule and Sierra Leone and them all about the diaspora. Um, again, Unakushe, um, I admire put local um, Bobo and um, Gallo. I know they see fine anyway, right enough. Sorry, because I know wear my glasses. And but Madam Patricia as well. Yeah, Superman. Thank you. I didn't finish yet. Thank you. And um and Patricia, but Patricia is a special, you know, um, species for me to talk to. And um thank you because you took that dignity, you have the dignity and the courage, you know, for workmanship, for teamwork, and says, Okay, I'm going to stood down. And that's what we want to see. It's not like he's better than you or anything else. Like, you know, this is what you know I live for. No, because you have that courage and says, Okay, you know, let it be. I will support you and thank you for that. My heart off to you for that. You know, thank you. And I am Pat. And then, you know, um, thank you, you know, for your social work. You have my best friend's name. So I will support you. Let me go back to um, um, the Switzerland guy. Sorry. <laughs> I can't see. You got to, you got uh, we, got to, we can help you, you know. Sweden, like, yeah. And we, we build in, you know, I'm, I'm, I, the the website so we if you want to join us that's fine it's a team work makes the 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 the, the work easier so you can you know and, and join us we can have a, a, a special stuff for you and you guys can talk to superman for that and i'm pat you know thank you you know for being there you know running the race i hope you run you know a better race and i, I want you to have that confidence that you know whatever you guys put your hands upon as long as your mind is clean your conscience is going you are going to win and don't you know say they will give you the chance because you know what you're going to put out there i hope you already have the portfolio you know to run this race and with that portfolio you're going to win thank you everybody and you know the delegates please look for the finest and go out there and do your best thank you and we'll be watching you because i'm out here I'm a fighter. Okay, I, then, thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay, then, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, everybody. Shabepe, you want to say anything? Supermed. Or... Super um, yes. dear, Sengapier, um, dear, um, just on behalf of the young people in the diaspora, 
and the young people who they work with currently, I want to use this opportunity for us to say plenty, plenty thank you to Comrade Fatima Conte. You know, um, it all touched me already. And as somebody, we, as soon as we've done this meeting, a girl will be in touch immediately because now the kind of resources that we need as young people. Somebody will believe in young people. So thank you so much for your advice, your wisdom with your past through way. And I bet you say the young people that right now will get my diaspora, the caliber of young people will not go disappointing now. We will go out there and work for the APC party and work for Sierra Leone. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Over to you, Shemi Pei. All right. Um, I appreciate everything. I have a terrible plenty, plenty. Thank you for one around. Take one around. Same thing for Kim NC. Domain, talk to people then about different issues from national issue to our uh, aspiration we appreciate to uh, thank you thank you very much and thank you to the one we actually don't produce this particular program we don't they make sure say it put things them don't they there on the phone don't they communicate you know fatima conte thank you very much and uh may cook would uh, presenter i want to say thank you you said they do a very good job uh, my name is and i just want to say thanks to my family members then um, thank you for you. We don't like you, don't share you, we don't come in view. We appreciate to know all. Well, until we meet again in another edition, my name is the Freedom Fighter. God bless the country, Sierra Leone, where we call we are. Thank you, thank you, bye bye, thank you. Thank you.